Um, the difficult part in this project was to do the time correlation of all those signals using IRIC signal and then correlate all the data and monitor it in real time and distribute it to many monitoring stations. Let's talk to Jake Rosendahl, who was project leader from Devisoft site in Florida. Hello, Jake. This is a fantastic vehicle. What was the challenge in this project? Hi, Herbert. Thanks for having me. Really excited to talk to everybody about what we're doing at Kennedy Space Center with NASA and Dewey Soft. We're at, the crawler is an awesome vehicle, carrying around as much weight as it does. And so what we're really looking at and what Dewey Soft's been doing is we've gone in and replaced a very old data acquisition system that's measuring the hydraulic pressures across the system for being able to move and level 12 million pounds. And then also doing some low level vibration measurements to be able to tell structural integrity and be able to see what's going on to make sure nothing out of the ordinary happens. So they are looking for keep everything within tolerable limits because if anything alarms and anything with these measurements they need to stop and figure out exactly what's going on when you're carrying 12 million pounds around don't want anything really going haywire or anything at all different so it's an important task for devisoft equipment to ensure the safety of the rocket in, during transport jake does nasa also use other devisoft equipment in other applications Yes, Herbert, there's actually a lot of fun things we're working on Kennedy Space Center with. One unique thing people think, Kennedy, they just launch rockets, right? No, they're actually tasked also with recovering the Orion capsule after it splashes down in the Pacific Ocean after everything's all said and done. Like everything with space travel, nothing can be easy and it all has very unique challenges. And because the Orion capsule, it's fragile. It's, it's designed to fly through space and come back safely but it's not designed to be lifted and moved around except by a rocket. So it wasn't designed to actually be lifted out of the water like the old Apollo or the Gemini Mercury capsules by a helicopter. Those were designed to have the structural integrity to be picked up by the top. The Orion capsule cannot, it's too big. It carries too many people. And so they're going to, instead of trying to pick it up out of the water, they're gonna let it float. And there's these Navy ships that actually can have the back end where hovercraft normally go in, they flood with water and they put a cradle in there and they're just going to simply float the capsule with ropes pulled into the back of the ship and then be able to set it down on this capsule and keep everything nice and calm to preserve the capsule. So with all these challenges, they're trying to figure out the best way to pull it in and secure it. Well, so what we're doing is we have instrumentation that they put inside the mock capsule that we have a Dewey soft system in there that right, has an IMU, and we're watching roll pitch and yaw and position of the capsule. And then we're also measuring load pins of where the ropes that are getting attached to the capsule to be pulling it into the ship, what loads are being put on the capsule to make sure they're not going to damage it. And then simultaneously, while we're measuring on the capsule that's floating in the water, they're measuring on the winch pulley systems that NASA designed inside the ship to see what kind of load they're exerting onto from the winch systems and what they're doing in movement to then be able to see a total look using Wi-Fi that you have two Dewey soft systems, one in the ship that's measuring the loads of the winches and then what the actual impact of that is real time on the capsule as they bring it in and try to secure it. And as you can see in the uh, videos, it is a very difficult challenge with different wave things, even when it looks like a calm ocean. Really cool, cool, neat application that we get to play in as well.